What's up guys, Joey here of Ubitech, and faster internet is constantly in demand, especially as we consume more bandwidth demanding apps, games, and videos with our laptops and phones. If your current Wi-Fi connection isn't strong enough to support your growing number of devices, you might be on the lookout for a better solution. You may have heard of Wi-Fi 6, which arrived in 2019. It still does the same basic thing, connect you to the internet. But it does this with a bunch of additional technologies that increase efficiency, speeding up connections in the process. These new technologies help mitigate the issues that come with putting dozens of Wi-Fi devices on a single network. It lets routers communicate with more devices at once, send data to multiple devices in one broadcast, and lets Wi-Fi devices schedule check-ins with the router. Together, those features should keep connections strong even as more and more devices start demanding data. As devices become more complex and internet connections evolve, the process of delivering wireless connections also changes. That means that Wi-Fi standards, which are the technical specifications that manufacturers use to create Wi-Fi, need to be periodically updated so that new technology can flourish and everything can remain compatible. So the Wi-Fi Alliance, an industry group that manages Wi-Fi nomenclature, has branded this new spectrum and the devices that can take advantage of it under a new name, Wi-Fi 6E. So what is Wi-Fi 6E? In a nutshell, Wi-Fi 6E is an extension of Wi-Fi 6 that operates in the new 6 GHz frequency band instead of the traditional 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. It has all the characteristics of Wi-Fi 6, including orthogonal frequency division multiple access, or OFDMA, and target wake time, or TWT. The standard speed caps remain as well. You'll get 600 megabits per stream via an 80 megahertz channel, or 1,200 megabits per second via a 160 megahertz channel. Now let's talk about its advantages. Wi-Fi 6E uses the capabilities of 6 GHz to enable high bandwidth applications applications that require faster data throughput like streaming video in HD and 4K, and online or VR gaming. It will also allow businesses valuable options for the expansion of their networks and networking devices. Now in no particular order, here's a list of the other advantages. 1. It offers speeds in the gigabit range. 2. It supports up to 1.2 GHz more Wi-Fi spectrum in the 6 GHz band. 3. Up to 2 gigabit speeds are achievable even in mobile phones. 4. It offers extremely low latency, less than 1 millisecond. 5. It offers higher capacity, hence a higher number of users that are supported by Wi-Fi 6E compared to traditional Wi-Fi. 6. There's less interference as this frequency spectrum is not common to any wireless household devices. And 7. It supports wider channels in 80 MHz and 160 MHz bandwidth. Now, as for its limitations, to use the new 6 GHz band, you'll need a new broadcaster, which is typically your router or access point, and new clients, which are your phones, your laptops, your smart TV, etc., that support Wi Fi 6E. It also does not support any legacy device operation in 6 GHz. However, these legacy devices are supported in 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Now, the big question. Should you care? Well, if you're going to buy a gadget that'll be released this year and you're eyeing flagship specs, whether it's a phone or a laptop, there's a big chance that it'll support Wi-Fi 6E. But you also have to consider that you're gonna have to replace your router if you really want to take advantage of the benefits of this new standard. Your new Wi-Fi 6E compliant gadgets will work with the older standards, but expect that they will also encounter the same limitations as those older standards. The Wi-Fi Alliance has launched its Wi-Fi 6E certification program on January 7th, 2021 ahead of CES 2021 and coinciding with the official release of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. New devices with this standard will indicate Wi-Fi 6 slash Wi-Fi 6E or the Wi-Fi 6 logo on the packaging, advertisements, labels, and so on. Phones that come with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor will support this new standard with the US version of the Samsung Galaxy S21 series being one of the first devices available. Asus has also announced the Rapture GT AXE 1100 router which boasts of being the first router to support such a standard. TP-Link has also announced a full lineup of new routers for this year which includes multiple Wi-Fi 6E options as well as a new Wi-Fi 6 mesh router with built-in Alexa voice control functionality. Now, as with any generational leap, it takes time to propagate, especially as consumers hold onto their devices longer than any previous years. But it provides some peace of mind to know that technology is prepared to meet the challenge as more internet-connected devices come online and our homes become smart smarter, more intelligent, and more interconnected. So, what do you guys think about Wi-Fi 6E? 
Are you gonna cop a new phone or laptop and a matching router for this year? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.